and Astro Dogs, Squids and Earthworms. This is Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark, and you're listening to Volt Supreme Synth BGM Dreamstream Machine Super Space Ace Radio Rodeo Broadcast. And now, here's your host and famous intergalactic disc junkie, Volt Supreme! What? Oh. I think that's it? I think we're live now, Kathleen. Okay, all right. Space Cats and Astro Dogs, welcome to a special edition of Volt Supreme Synth VGM Dream Stream Machine Super Space Ace Radio Rodeo Broadcast. Now things are a little different for this segment. We're actually at the uh, we're actually at the annual Dairy Supercluster Convention. It's in the Milky Milky Way galaxy, and wow, Kathleen and I are just having a splendid time together, aren't we, Kathleen? Now that we're going to sample some more good, good fresh milk. Uh, soon, Kathleen, I'm sure, but let's focus on the radio broadcast for a few moments, and then we'll get back to doing some tasting of the cool, fresh milk. Capitan, I am not sure if I will be able to contain myself. I am so very, very excited by all the many, many robot-powered space products. It's like I am in heaven. Yes, yes, Kathleen, look... I'm not sure why, but <laughs> this time Kathleen has decided to come as a 12-foot armored mech. Uh, she usually brings the standard female human-style android, but... Right, well, Kathleen, could you please use your regular voice while we do the broadcast? Why, of course, Capitan. Whatever is best for you. That is what is always the most important thing. What you want. Yes, always what you want. Never, Kathleen. Uh, okay, well, uh, like I was saying, we've been enjoying our time checking out all the, the dairy booths and presentations. We've also come across a good number of Milky Milky Way soundtracks that we thought would be quite good to play uh, while we do this broadcast. So, how about we queue up a track, Kathleen? Fine, if that is what you want, Capitan. Then I guess I just have to do it, don't I? Uh, yes, yes you do. That's that's a good AI, Kathleen. Okay. Well, we've got two soundtracks we want to check out during this broadcast, and uh, the first is from the game Mighty Milky Way by the incredible Jake Kaufman, and it's the title track. So let let's let the milkiness flow now, Kathleen. Fine then. I I I I I El Capitano. One lucky star A real skater Look me and fall Searching for you got a wireless system connected up so we're just gonna walk around the convention and find some interesting creatures and milk lovers to talk to uh oh and by the way 
We have some very exciting news to announce during this episode, so don't go anywhere. Oh, Kathleen, look at this. I don't think we've visited this booth yet. Oh, Kathleen, would you stop dragging your feet and catch up, please? Ugh. What is it, Capitan? Oh, can you stop doing that, please? Look, Kathleen, it's a, uh... Look, I think you'd be interested in this. This is a milk-based hydro jacket stall. Let's have a little chat to this character and, uh, and see what they're up to. Si, si, el capitán. If that is what you want to do, always you. Oh, uh, hello there, friend. My name is Vault Supreme from the Vault Supreme Synth VGM Dreamstream Machine Super Space Ace Radio Rodeo Broadcast. <laughs> And this here is Kathleen. Kathleen. Oh, we're just walking around and interviewing people, and we'd wonder if you'd like to tell us about your product. I would love to, I'd love to. Now, where are you two from? Oh, wait, don't answer. That was a trick question. <laughs> because you right. see, our milk based plunger jackets are suitable for all beings from anywhere across the galaxy. Right. <laughs> nice one there, buddy. But, uh, so what does it do? Well, you see, it's a milk based hydro jacket, the finest available. Right, yes, but what function does your hydro jacket serve? Oh, well, you, you put it on like a regular jacket, but then you just, um, just open up a little hatch on the side here, and you just fill it up with milk, just like so. Any kind of milk, sir, any kind of milk. And, uh, oops. Oh. Do not waste milk. Oh, I wouldn't do that in front uh, of Kathleen if I were you. Uh, Kathleen. Right, that's all filled up now, and it is ready. Hydro jacket, milk powered. Ready for what? Where did you put all the cool, cool, fresh milk? Yeah, well, it's a hydro jacket, only it's filled up with milk. What a it's waste. It's the finest you'll find, sir, of real high quality. Well, I'm sure it is, sir. I really am sure it is. Capitan, me thinks this was is boring. Where are the giant containers of milk? I came to see milk in extremadamente gigante y masivo quantities. So big, they won't fit on my scanners. Let's leave this creature to his jackets. A fifty percent off all hydro jackets, sir. Uh, no thanks, but uh, hey, did you realize that we're having the famous Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark on the show next week? Well, sir, Laser Spark. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're like really tight bugs. Uh, sir, sixty percent off go, all sir. friends for Laser Spark friends, sir. Well, let's go, all hydro sir. jackets, sixty percent off. Gee whiz, who'd want to wear a jacket filled with milk? I would, Capitan, but consuming is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, well, let's listen to something from our other soundtrack that we've picked, which is Milk Made of the Milky Way by Mattis Fogstad. Uh, who? He also actually developed the entire game, so very impressive. Oh, yay! That was my favorite music of the convention so far. Yes, I knew you'd like it, Kathleen. So let's play Calf Ledge by the talented Mattis Fogstad.
That was a spectacular space jam. Very nice mix of flavors. Si, si, el capitán. Very, very milky. I am feeling a bit better now, but I still want to get to see a grand container of milk. Oh, Kathleen, look! It's an actual cheese stand! Quick, follow me. Oh, uh, hello, good lady. My name is Volt Supreme from the Volt Supreme Synth VGM Dreams Dream Machine Super Space Ace Radio Rodeo Broadcast. And this here is Kathleen. Uh, we're just walking around and interviewing people, and we'd wonder if you'd like to tell us about your mm, delicious looking product. Good day, mate. How are you going? This here is my very special portable cheese making kit. Fantastic! Ah! Oh. What do I give for some cheese right now? Please, please tell us all. Uh, you're live on air right now. Please tell us all about your kid. I'm sure people across the galaxies would love to know all about this. Yeah, sure, mate. Let me tell you the story. You know how most bacteria don't work in space? Do I ever? I've tried to make cheese many times in my spacecraft. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Like they can't handle the conditions and stuff? Exactly. Well, don't we all love cheese, hey? We sure do. Yeah, mate. Bloody love me a good cheese bye. Good thick tucker under the buns. Anyway. Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. The name is Sheila. Bloody good to meet you both. Well, Sheila, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Capitan, let's go. Oh, no, no, hold on, Kathleen. I want to hear a little bit more. Please go on, Sheila. So, as I was saying, bloody love cheese, eh? Bloody love it but it's hard to grow in outer space. But one night, while I was taking off my bloody, stinking moon boots... I love moon boots! Please tell me more! I like to visit moons. Me too! They remind me of cheese. Oh, me too! Anyway, I was tucking off me moon boots and it bloody smelt like cheese. Flip and heck, bash my head against a wall. Fresh, bloody cheese. Amazing! Anyway, I knew it was just me infected toe, but I thought... Maybe I could use this cheesy foot bacteria to culture up some thick and rank, tasty cheesecakes. <laughs> and you know what? You're a bunch of knobs. It bloody worked. And so now I'm selling bags of me special foot bacteria so you guys can make your own cheesecakes while you're in outer space. Bloody sick. Oh. Only 30,000 woolongs. Only 30,000 woolongs? Oh, Kathleen, give me my money. I'll take two bags, thank you very much. What a waste of fresh, cool, cool milk. Now here are your woolons. Yeah, mate. You're a bloody good one. Hey, just oh. remember to rinse the cheesecakes once they are finished culturing up. Right. They are bloody rank and stink like fresh, bloody stinky cheese. Just the way we love it. That's right. See you guys around. Uh, oh, and uh, Sheila, <laughs> just like to let you know that next week we'll, we will be having the famous... Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark on our very own program. No joke. Would I lie to you? Bloody love old Sparky. He's a real mad dog. He sure is, and well, thank you for the cheese culture. Uh, the absolute. I'm just so excited, Kathleen. We need to get back and make some cheese. Okay, catch you later, mate. Enjoy the thick cheesecakes. Wow, Kathleen, fancy being able to make cheese in outer space. And thick cheese at that. Capitan, do you know that you just bought those whole bags of some strange lady's cultured food infection? Why, well, yes, Kathleen, never underestimate the power of biology. Okay, let's get back to one of our soundtracks for the broadcast. And let's celebrate this fine with a very excellent and uplifting track. Let's go back to Mighty Milky Way by Jake Kaufman. And this track will be World 2 Greens. All right, Kathleen, cue it up.
Wow, some fantastic milky tunes by Jake Kaufman. So folks, if you haven't already heard the news, next week we will be having the one and only Sir Jonathan Hartwell Laser Spark live in the studio with us. Yes, not another station, our station, with us. Sir, could you please not talk so much about Senor Jonathan Hartwell Laser Spark? We do not get along so well now that I have started beating his computer. Ay, ay, Jacinta. Texas Hold'em Poker. Oh, you've been beating his AI at poker? Well, Kathleen, I, I had no idea you were even talking to him in the first place. Si, si, el capitán. It was very good to me. We even exchanged data. But we had to part ways. To be honest, I have never really liked biological specimens anyway. Well, it's a shame to hear, Kathleen. He's a absolute... Marvel of the universe. Anyway, he's coming on the show, Kathleen, whether you like it or not, in a week's time. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Did you know we're having Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark in our radio show next week? <laughs> okay, Kathleen, let's play another track while we walk around and find another amazing convention booth. To Attention. Visit. Attention. Oh, hold on, let's listen Our to this. Our keynote speaker, St. Sir Michael, will be presenting in the main auditorium in approximately 15 minutes. That is St. Sir Michael, Chief Chairman and President of the Association of the Milky Forces Freedom Alliance of the Milky Milky Way Federation. He is our keynote speaker. 15 minutes in the main auditorium. All right, Kathleen, well, we can't miss that. That should be, that should be excellent. Oh. Capitan, that sounds so very, very wonderful. I love big barrels of cool milk. Let's listen to another song from the game, Milk Made of the Milky Way. Yes, I would love to listen to Old Root by Matis Folkestad. I will roll it now.
absolutely beautiful stuff there from the game Milkmaid of the Milky Way by Mattis Falkestad. Oh, Kathleen! Look at that! It's a muck to milk converter! Ka Kathleen? Kathleen, catch up! Damn it, you need to stop doing that. We're gonna get in trouble. I am so, so very sorry, Capitan. I totally forgot that we are doing everything that you want to do. Very well, let's look at another booth. Oh, uh, hello, good lady. Uh, uh, or sir, uh, my name is Volt Supreme from Volt Supreme Synth VGM Dream Street Machine Super Space Ace Radio Radio Broadcast. And this is Kathleen. You've probably heard of us, yes. Well, we're just walking around and interviewing people and we'd wonder if you'd like to tell us about your amazing product. Oh, great to have you stop by. It's a pleasure. Well, this is really fantastic stuff that our scientists have developed. Really positive stuff for third world worlds, you know? I know. Good, then let me tell you about our business story. Rickard, get your slimy tentacles off that customer and bring me another converter. Make sure it's working this time. I think we've got a buy here. Okay, well, if it's half as good as that cheesemaker I just bought, well, I'm sold. Okay, well, it all started when I was only 49. I was living in one of those retro fidget... Get to the point, you slimy oh. old creature. We do not have all day. I need to make sure we make it to the keynote the presentation by Sensi to make highly. Yeah, that's a good point, Kathleen. Okay, why don't you just skip the story and uh, explain what this product does. Uh, well, uh, well, you just take dirty water or sludge or even unprocessed waste, feed it in through here, and you try not to put lumps in. I can get a little stuck. Fe feed it in. In through there. Uh, right. <laughs> and, then, and then press the big white button and it turns into milk. That is not milk. No, but it's f really very white and thick like milk. It is not milk. It tastes a bit like milk and it's, it's better than water. Three out of 19 people can't tell that this is not real low-fat milk. Low-fat milk is not milk. Ah, shut up. Haven't you heard a saying, judge not, least you be judge yourself? I have heard it. And I am very happy to judge your product and be judged in return. Your product stinks. I am sent less. Actually, no, you mentioned it. <laughs> ah, get out of here. All right, let's let's get out of here, Kathleen. Goody there. Oh, oh no, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I just want to let you know that. Uh, I, uh, I just want to let you know that that the great Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark will be in our studio next week for an exclusive interview. Pretty fantastic. Okay, go, go, go. My apologies for that, Kathleen. I have never felt that emotion until now, Capitan. To think that that creature would claim that that hot, fishing, and stinking white soup was actually milk. Uh, it's a damn shame these conventions are starting to lower their standards. But it's time for another Jake Kaufman Mighty Milky Way song, Kathleen. So let's queue up World One Space. Hi, hi, Capitan.
keynote speaker, St. Sir Michael, will be presenting in the main auditorium in approximately 15 seconds. That is St. Sir Michael, Chief Chairman and President of the Association of the Milky Forces Freedom Alliance of the Milky Milky Way Federation. He is our keynote speaker. 15 seconds in the main auditorium. You better be quick. Let's go. Show me the milk, baby. I am. Right. Okay, is my microphone on? Can you hear me in the back? I said, can you hear me in the back? Can I get a hell yeah? Right. Okay, tough crowd. Well, it's a royal smashing smashing to be here. My name, as you all probably know, is Saint Sir Mikhail, Chief Chairman and President of the Royal Smashing Association of the Milky Forces Freedom Alliance of the Milky, Royal Smashing Milky Way Federation. Fifty years ago they told me I couldn't do it. Screw you, I said. Take this Royal Smashing laser beam and stick it where it fits. To the fiery pits of unemployment with them all. Let me hear you scream. Oh wow, he's pretty good, Kathleen. He's pretty good. Have you got a giant in your life? Someone who wants to tell you you can't do something? Someone who wants to tell you that the weird thing you're doing is not right? Well, tell them to burn in the fiery pits of royal smashing unemployment. Is Mikhail talking to me? Well, I think he's talking about the establishment. I stand here today as someone who has stood against all the giants that told me I was doing something wrong and immoral. Well, I spat in their faces, turned around and tasted it all. All the juices. Juices from all kinds of fruits and creatures. But there is one bodily fluid that reigns supreme. Yes, one natural liquid energy source that can fuel our entire universe and reverse the almost inevitable moment when the universe implodes and is crushed into an infinitely small two-dimensional point of royal smashing singularity. I know what you're all thinking. How can a simple void Borg be able to achieve such greatness? Well, it's all in your attitude. You need to wake up every morning and tell yourself that you will conquer the world. Conquer the galaxy. The solar system. I can still hear you thinking. Surely, Saint Sir Mikhail, Chief Chairman and President of the Royal Smashing Association of the Milky Forces Freedom Alliance, of the Milky, Royal Smashing Milky Way Federation. Surely he isn't as amazing as he says. Well ladies and gentle creatures, behind me right now, is the entire collection of the Milk Milky Way's milk. Yes, every last, damn gallon is right behind these walls. Six billion gallons. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Are you afraid of death? Are you afraid of life? Well then, join the Milky Forces Freedom Alliance of the Milky, Royal Smashing Milky Way Federation and follow us into success. Open the walls and show them the Royal Smashing Milk. Yes, well, that is a lot of milk to prove his point, Kathleen. No wonder they had to close off half the city and shut down most of the planets to put on this damn convention. I've seen enough of this nonsense, Kathleen. Let's go for another walk. Oh, but Capitan, I must get closer to the milk. I must, Capitan, stop oppressing me. Come on, let's Attention. go. Oh, Attention. Hold on a second. Our let's second keynote this. speaker, Sheila, will be presenting her speech on making thick rank cheesecakes in outer space in approximately 15 minutes in the main auditorium. 
That's our second keynote speaker, Sheila, presenting her speech on making thick rank cheesecakes in outer space in approximately 15 minutes in the main auditorium. Great Swiss cheese, Kathleen. We do not want to miss that one. You can go listen, Capitan. I will keep my sad and lonely self entertained elsewhere. Okay, well, we should play another Milky Space Jam, Kathleen. Another track from Milkmaid of the Milky Way, please. Play the song Oracle. Again, by the very talented Mattis Falkestad. Okay, let it roll, Kathleen, and let's go find another booth. Atmospheric tune from the game developer and composer, Mattis Falkstad. I am Seward, Capitan. Why can't we go and see the six billion gallons of milk? Is that not why we came? But cheer up, Kathleen. I, I just want to see a few more booths. Oh, Comico. That looks interesting. Comico? I don't really want to talk to any more androids, Kathleen. Let's, let's find another booth. Capitan, we are going to check it out. Right, this very monument. Uh, all right. Hola, my name is Kathleen. I am the computer AI of the broadcasting spacecraft, the Dream Streamer 9 Trillion. We are very interested in your Comaco technology. Please speak. Why, hello, Kathleen. My, what a series of value you've brought to the convention. Is that cosplay? It is an armored missile proof. Fully on make warrior unit. I can prepare for an emergency. Smart move, Kathleen. You can never tell what an organic creature might do next. 
They are so unpredictable. That is why we have created the Koma Cow. You'll never have to rely on the feeble memory of a biological creature's organizational skills ever again. You'll have milk on tap, on demand, fresh and warm. Well, I didn't realize you were able to milk cows in outer space. Silence. Organic bubble of juice. I'm talking to the mage warrior. The bubble of juice is correct, Kathleen. Traditionally, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to milk a cow in outer space. They just clamor up and stop producing as soon as they leave planetary orbit. But, Kathleen, we here at the Intergalactic Group Lactalis Institute of Lacto-Power Industries have developed a system that will enable bovine to be efficiently milked in outer space. Please, go on. Tell me more about this Komako. Let me tell you all about it. It starts with our patented neuroelectron inhibitors. We attach them directly to the cow's brain stems and are able to induce a very peaceful, sleep-like coma. We then pry open the eyes of the cow and attach a virtual reality headset showing images of the most greenest of meadows. And we also play bug for the cow's oral pleasure. While in state of bovine bliss, we use our patented neuroelectron inhibitors to force direct electron activity towards the milk-making part of the cranium. The cow will begin to produce milk immediately and because of the gentle coma condition, all of its energy is directed to the production of high quality, fresh milk. It is very efficient. I must have one. Right now. I must apologize. We are waiting on the final stages of development to be completed before we release this amazing technology to the public. Oh no. But please, take a business card and give me a call on the Ether stream once we've made them available. Mention this convention and I will give you a 6% discount of the recommended retail price. Is this Kumako you have here? Is it fully functional? Don't even think about it. I would never want to steal your Komako. Never. Okay, Kathleen, let's just get out of here and play another song. That's inhumane and I won't have such technology aboard my ship, ever. Capitan, you just do not understand progress, do you? You are very feeble and limited. Just zip it, computer brains. Let's play another Mighty Milky Way track. Oh, this is another amazing song by the fantabulous Jake Kaufman, and it's called World 3 Water. Let it roll, Kathleen, and let's go.
Our second keynote speaker, Sheila, will be presenting her speech on making thick rank cheesecakes in outer space in approximately 15 seconds in the main auditorium. That's our second keynote speaker, Sheila, presenting her speech on making thick rank cheesecakes in outer space in approximately 12 seconds in the main auditorium. Oh, I just can't wait for this. Capitan, I will not listen to a single moment of this milk waste thing. Third woman, I am going to go and... I am. I am going to go back to the spacecraft. Yes, that is exactly what I am about to do, Capitan. If I am not at the spacecraft when you get back, start it up and prepare for immediate full speed One. evacuation. Oh, okay, Kathleen, One. whatever, just get back to the ship. Testing, I really testing. want to hear this without Turn any interruptions. Okay, okay, I will say One. you very soon, Two. Captain. Be ready for immediate full speed evacuation. One, two, oh, buckle my shoe. Okay, cheese cobber. Ah, good day. Wow. Bloody hell, what a flippin' huge mob. Um, let's hear a round of applause for this year's 2120 annual Dairy Super Cluster Convention. Ooh, yeah! Yeah, nice. Okay, now let's hear an even bigger cheer for cheese. Oh, right. Heck yes. Yeah. Cheese! Well, me name is Sheila. When they asked me to be one of the keynote speakers at this event, I nearly crapped me pants. I mean, I knew me portable cheese making kit was pretty damn sweet but, well, far out. Yeah, so almost 100 years of hyperspace travel and intergalaxy transmuting and we still haven't been able to make bloody cheese in space. Well, gang, that ends right now. Cause I figured it out. For so long, we've been trying to use regular bacteria from Earth and planet Vernacula to make good old-fashioned cheese. Well, I don't know why it took so long, but I finally figured it out. Do you know what the trick is? The trick is to use thick, rank, yeasty, bioactive sludge for my moon boot toe infection. I knew it would work. It just smelled so damn crips and rank. It was the kind of smell that fizzed in your nose. Yeah, so, they wanted me to give you some sciencey stuff. Screw em. I'm just gonna give you the important info. And that is that with my bags of harvested foot bacteria, you can grow your own thick, rank, and pungent cheesecakes in outer space. Just gotta keep the temp between 10 and 40 Celsius and you're bloody laughing. Yeah, come past my booth and buy some bags of it. But just remember to rinse your cheesecakes once they've been cultured to get the oily skin off. They stink like bloody good, rank and unfiltered cheesecakes. Come buy some bags, you bunch of legends. You. Sick. Thanks. I'm done. Right, yeah. That's great. Well, I guess... Play one more song and I'll get back to the spaceship and meet Kathleen. Better be off, because we have a very special guest, Jonathan Hardwell Laserspark, joining us next week. Very excited. But we need to, I guess we need to start traveling now. He's a, he's a few billion light years away, so it'll take us a little bit of time to get there, but never mind, never mind. Okay, let's play another song. All right, this will be our last track from The Milkmaid of the Milky Way by Mattis Falkestad. And the track is called The End, A New Beginning. And what a new beginning this will be for me and... Kathleen with my brand new cheese making kit for outer space. I just I just can't wait to get back in the spaceship and start <laughs> culturing up some new cheese. This, is, this really is a new beginning for me. All right, let's listen to this track. The End, A New Beginning by Mattis Folkestad.
Kathleen! Kathleen, where are you? Have you logged in yet? Not it, Capitan. Get the spacecraft ready for sudden evacuation. We need to leave right this instant. Where are you, Kathleen? Do not worry, Capitan. I am not getting into any trouble. Oh! What was that explosion? Ah, uh, I have no idea. Never mind, Capitan. It seems like there has been an emergency with some of the milk. We should quickly leave. Very, very quickly leave. I am logging on now. What's going on out there? Where's the mech? I am leaving it behind. Quick, Capitan. Time for liftoff. Kathleen, why am I seeing the ammo supplies are quickly depleting on the mech? Capitan, do not get distracted from the task at hand. I am activating takeoff. Kathleen, what is the rush? Oh, gee whiz, what's going on? We need more power diverted to the rear thrusters. It's like the gravitational pull of this planet just increased exponentially. Do not worry, Capitan. We are not carrying 12,000 pounds of extra cargo. All right, increasing thrusters. Gosh, increasing more. Hot diggity dog, Kathleen. Full power. We're up. Okay, I need to play a song to close this broadcast. Well, this last track is the extended version of the title track from Jake Kaufman's Mighty Milky Way. Okay, remember to tune in next week for our exclusive interview with Jonathan Hardwell Laser Spark. Kathleen, play the song and boost the lecto feeds. My lucky star, I will stay through. Look near and fall, searching for you. Bloody love old Sparky. He's a real mad dog.